What do I think about Mana Moon Caitlyn? Uh, if you're doing Lethality, it's decent. But uh, I don't think overall Lethality Caitlyn is really as good as Great Caitlyn. People generally don't do it even on Lethality Caitlyn though, but I imagine it's alright. Yo, what up gamers watching video number 23 of my Iron to Diamond series? Make sure to subscribe if you want to see the rest of the series, and follow me on Twitch if you want to see the series live. The link is in the description. Damn. Fuck shit vision on me. <laughs> Come on, Magana. Get a binding and they're dead. Well, not dead, but chunked out. You're pathetic. Alright, that's fine. We can crash this and maybe look for a base. Yeah, I don't mind just getting hit by Jin here, so long as I don't die. There we go. Like, all the damage he does here is irrelevant, I just need to focus out on- focus on, uh, shoving the whiff. Mmm... Yeah, I suppose getting... Two components here is better than going for coal. Top three support, support for Cog, Twitch, Bork, Hydra, Ginsu build. Um, I mean, Lulu for both of them. I think Renata for both of them as well. Not sure what else. Oh, actually, Braum should be pretty good for both as well. <laughs> So I'm gonna shove. Ooh. It's too late to place the trap. <laughs> Why did I get spell shielded? <laughs> Alright, so right now we're laning against him with a huge item advantage, right? Oh, come on, the minion block. So what I want to do is just keep him pressured on the turret so he can't really back without letting us do a ton of turret damage. Nice spell shield that time. Did they not have heal? Oh, wow. Okay, I have to leave her. So I had heal for Morgana there, but I'm not sure she would have managed to live anyway, so I'm not going to bother with that. I'm sure that... Oh, they did use heal. Okay, nice. So they didn't massively fuck up there. We just outplayed. Cool. And yeah, they, they basically had the back. We had way too much of an, uh, an item advantage there. It was just really gritty because... My initial base was quite good. He didn't get to shove in a wave, and then because I had such a huge item advantage, I could easily just get prio and shove, him on, shove the waves on the turret again. You just needed to take the loss and just recall. Even if he's gonna miss a bunch of CS on the turret while he's recalling, doesn't matter, you have to back eventually. Only way you're getting out of that is getting bailed out by your jungler, which is... You know... You have no guarantee your jungler will come and help you. Oh, 
Jet, I'm about to hit it. That's fine. Actually, so one issue is we... I'm not really sure we want to just uh, be AFK pushing them under turret when they've got a Nocturne. A Nocturne that's about to be hitting level 6 soon. We can do it when we know Nocturne ult is on cooldown or if we know he's topside. Oh. Yeah, that's him. Okay, he just massively wasted that cooldown. Alright, so now that we know the Nocturne ult is actually on cooldown, now we can just keep pushing. We're only scared of a Nocturne when his ult is up. He can't really gank us without it. Even though we're a bit lower than them, that should be fine. Nice little shield wasn't up yet. Good time to ult. Yeah, you can see, you see just how easily, if we're shoving them under threat, how easily we can just win those trades. Me being low doesn't really matter. Or lower. Yeah, Nocturne is ganking, but like as you can see, it is not... Not too easy for him to just get onto us. And maybe bait his flash or go heal. I can back here. Got no mana now anyway. And they're not gonna shove this too fast. It's like a wave especially coming. I am not How do you pick when call is the better option, when it's not going to change the amount of minor components that I can pick up. And if it's before Noon Quiver. Basically is how I decide. Also, I don't do it when I'm rushing either Shield Bow or Orc, because half the reason I, or most of the reason why I like Cole is just the sustain that it gives in this uh, post Lifesteal nerfs world. So I don't, I, there's no point in it when I'm rushing Shield Bow or Bork anyway. This feels overkill. And it also like delays the power spike when Shieldbow and Bork are both like massive early game power spikes. I don't want to delay that, potentially. We can drag this out. Okay, so I'm gonna probably just look to freeze until Nocturnal is back down. Because he's dead right now, but I... Don't believe he's ulted again since he ulted us, so when he comes back up, his ult should be up and we don't want to be overextended when he gets there. Ooh, nice one. Nice. Bro should create a nice cream tier list soon. Why an ice cream tier list? Glad you say that because I did have ice cream today, but I don't know how you know that. Hope that was a random comment and you're not actually stalking me. Lulu has no shield. <clears throat> As long as ult, Nocturne still is ult, I don't want to push, even though we're missing out on potential plating, sir. Alright, nice. So that's not towards us. We can start pushing. We can, we are still getting benefits out of freezing because we're zoning Jin out of a lot of farm, but I would rather be pushing turrets as well. So we can snowball our lead. Nice one. I'm not going to use Q unless she flashes. Alright, nice. Gonna move forwards here. Ready to start shoving in this wave. 
I don't need to bother even hitting the casters here because I ha I can wait for my second Q to finish shoving this wave. So that Q is just going to wipe out the casters. Gives us time to get the last plating or well, one last plating before we have the base. There we go. Shit, they get vision on me for so long. Hopefully they didn't see where I'm backing. Nice. Okay, so I, I don't know the exact cooldown on Nocturnal Oath, but I'm guessing, you know, should be up again within the next, like, 30 seconds. So again, once we get into lane, we're gonna start freezing again. Still aggressive because we're, like, actively trying to trade, even though we have a minion at disadvantage. And <clears throat> because they're not actually gonna be able to win those trades anyway, we're gonna be denying them farm. But, yeah, if we ever extend here, we could outplay it, especially because I got flash up, but I just don't see the need to use my, my flash when there's, like, very little chance we're actually gonna like kill anybody we can buy our play i just mean we're gonna survive but i don't want to just survive with my flash cooldown i want to use it for good things oh, not bad. shit um okay nice knock on dead he still got ult up but we can pressure for like the next 30 seconds. Still don't know that Katarina isn't gone. <laughs> yeah, she's not gone. Okay, so Nocturne, well, this is actually a good time to push, even though Nocturne is back up. He should be looking towards mid lane. Now is a good time to be drawing his attention, since I know I can survive with Flash anyway. So here, where is he going? Bot lane or mid lane? Mid lane. So this is just giving us a opportunity to just push her, pressure. Okay, we got the turret. Okay, I'm not gonna kill her, but a wall. <clears throat> See, this is a game where I'm not all autopiloting for once. These are things I'm actively thinking about. So ideally, I'd like to swap with Teemo, but in Louis, it's kind of hard to coordinate those lane swaps because you never know if your top laner will actually swap or not, and then you're stuck both in the same lane. So we're gonna do instead is rotate towards mid. See if Victor wants to swap the bot potentially. We can maybe just look for this turret. I need Morgana with me though, otherwise I get knocked on with it and I die. Could you read chat please? Dude. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying so hard to give good commentary here, I can't be looking at the chat at the same time. I'll read chat when I can. It's gonna be hard to actually pressure that turret. I'm thinking of just going top here and... Mm. It's kind of hard though, we don't have too much of a window to actually do that. Let's investigate. I'm gonna freeze slash slow push this way and fast push the next one I think. Oh, or we can just fight. I can't fucking see man, I don't want to face check. Yeah, this is not a good fight at all. I'll heal him just in case. Holy fuck, she actually came close to killing me than I realized. Oh, cool. 
I'll just base. Oh, she had a lot of Magi stacks, that's why. I saw it was Bruiser Katarina, so I wasn't expecting so much burst from her there. She'll do less burst the next time, and hopefully even less burst the next time, if uh, we can get even more stacks off of her. Yeah, I don't think rotating towards top lane is going to be an option. That's fine, though. He actually just got the third off on his own. That's cool. Although your versus Kata and Naki prefer Kraken, okay? Yeah, I'm just a big fan of Kraken Slayer. Especially on this patch. Okay, God, I hope I don't get knocked and ulted here, because uh, Morgana's very far away from me. But I don't want to not farm. What I can do is hang close to this wall, so if he does ult me, I can then just dash this wall. Then I only die if he has flash up. Let's wrap this up. Been playing Waldorf for the first time when we can find a very fun. Mechanics are simplified. A little and gold earned is much higher also some items have been adapted so you don't have a lot of active icons on screen what do you think uh i enjoyed wild Rift when i played it but i just find mobile controls and the mobile screen it's a lot less comfortable to play with as for the changes they've made from league i don't really care i, I, I haven't really played it enough to have any thoughts on it Like, fundamentally, I don't have any issue with actives, but I could see how in a mobile game it might be a bit daunting to have a ton of actives. So I probably wouldn't have a problem with that. That might be for me. Yeah, so we just dash this wall. Yeah, if we have a wall we can dash through, then we only die if he has flash up. Oh god. Nice. So Victor is really strong as well, by the way. Mm, ow. Oh, one more Tar Shot and it would have been dead. Nice. No! 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 Oh, thank God, man. Holy shit. Thank God it wasn't a charged up Tar Shot. Get me out of here. Uh, how are you feeling about it? It's just this patch. Amazing. I love it. Even if that was- oh, that was fully fed like a knock-in. Well, even if he was fed, I still wouldn't have died there. Not unless he has flash up. It's so great. You have so many more opportunities now. You're like- people you can't just brainlessly run you down every single time you're on their screen. They have to think about their opportunities, like you do. Durability patch saved you? Well, sort of. I mean, without the durability patch, I also would have taken a lot less turret damage there, you know? Because they buffed turrets this patch. I don't know if I would have uh, been any different on the previous patch in that particular fight. In general, though, it saved me a ton of times. So I would definitely have more deaths overall on this account in the previous patch. Oh. I'll ignore the wave. Just go for the fight here. Wait, did he just place... Oh, he placed the Herald. Whatever. We're not going to lose this game. We can just chase all these kills down. Nice. Did minions get updated at all? No, you can actually... There's a lot more fights where you can just ignore the minions now as well because the minions don't deal as much damage to you as they did before. 
You don't have to worry about them as much. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I mean, you know, that's debatable. Personally, I prefer it, though. Maybe I only prefer it, though, because I'm smurfing, so every almost every fight, the Riminis are a factor. It would be more likely to screw me than the enemies, you know? But I think in general, I used to prefer it way more when minions were not as strong as they are these days, or, you know, before this patch. I hated that update where minions are more relevant now in the mid-game. Subscribe if you want to see more of this series, and follow me on Twitch if you want to see this series live. The link is in the description. Ah, the trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 